In this video, we'll be doing a demonstration of the Metabo LF724. Now, LF is an abbreviation for the two German words Lack Fräse, directly translated is varnish router, which we call a paint stripper. And in a previous video on the Metabo SA YouTube channel, we did a full review, uh, scope of delivery, features and benefits of that. If you'd like to know more about the machine, please go on to that YouTube channel. Uh, the machine is connected to a Metabo vacuum cleaner slash dust extractor. Also on the Metabo SA YouTube channel, we have uh, various videos on these as well as demos. We have from normal vacuum cleaners to self-cleaning filter vacuum cleaners, as well as wet and dry. We're running the machine through this dust extractor vacuum cleaner. And as we switch the machine on, the vacuum cleaner will fire up. When we switch it off, a few seconds later, the machine will switch off as it's just clearing the pipe. Now, back to the paint stripper. What we're going to do in the first demo, this board has a slight rubber coating on it. We're going to set our drum at the bottom to 0.1 millimeter and just lightly skim off the rubber coating. Let's get into that. You lock your spindle over here and you can see that marking it is on zero millimeters. We turn it past 0.05 onto 0.1 millimeter and let's get going. As you can see, we're just going lightly through the rubber coating and making it actually smooth from that textured finish. And over going over it a few times, you can actually see the primer underneath. Now we're going to go for maximum from 0.1 past 0.2 all the way to 0.3. As you can see here, and we will show you how aggressive the machine is on that. The machine is now set to 0.3 millimeters and we're going to remove this rubberizing more aggressively in quicker movements. You can now turn it down back to 0.1 and get a smooth finish again. But if you have a thicker paint job on or multiple layers of paint, you can always, by setting your depth of cut, be more aggressive or just a much finer cut. With this next demo, we're going to show you how efficient the machine is to remove the rubberizing on the bottom here, as well as on the side simultaneously. We've set it back to 0.1, and we're going to open this flap on the side over here, so the drum is exposed to plane along the sides here. As you can see, we've done passes on both sides, this side as well as this side of the machine, forward and back. There's no adjustment on the side of the machine, so you do numerous passes. You'll see very fine trimming, first the black rubberizing, then down the primer, the gray primer is exposed. And you can do more and more passes depending how much material you want to remove. Should you not want to remove any more at the bottom, you just turn your setting down to zero and focus on the side. You also have one in front so you can butt up to material and clean there. Now, the next two demos we're going to do, we're going to take a pine board and remove varnish and a stain. And the last demo, we'll take blue paint off a board. As 
as you can see multiple passes the first passes just took the varnish off and then with the second third fourth passes you take the stain off and you back down to raw material this board has multiple layers of overspray on it and we're going to take that blue paint off and go back to the raw material We had the setting on the machine quite fine to 0.05 millimeters and you can see the paint layers on here. It has actually yellow, it has green, a light and a dark blue and the finish is actually very smooth. You hardly need any sanding, you just have to do multiple passes. We hope this demonstration was informative and you can appreciate the multiple uses of this paint stripper and should you wish to know any more information on this machine as features, benefits and scope of delivery, please go to the Metaba SA YouTube channel where you will also find more information on the Metaba vacuum cleaners and dust extractors. Alternatively, consult your nearest Metaba agent.